Hey, what's up guys, it's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode 30 of Skilling to Glory. If you guys could start off by dropping a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, as always, if you're of course new around here, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well for more videos. As um, yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some FUD Champions highlights. Um, these highlights are actually from last week. So, um, yeah, you will see, uh, I think, two episodes. So this episode and the next one are the highlights from last week. And then from Monday, you will get to see the gameplay from this weekend, basically. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, as always, as well, if you want to keep up to date with how everything goes behind the scenes and stuff with Skill into Glory as well, then be sure to go to my Facebook page, fb.gg slash kazooie94. Um, you should be able to tune in this weekend as well to see me... Uh, Play some FUD champions as well. So uh, make sure to do so. FB.GG slash Kazooie94. Link is available for you guys in the description down below. So um, I think the first thing I showed to you guys in this episode was that I actually sold on the Rule Breaker Opara, which we used in the previous episode where we unlocked those MLS players. And um, yeah, those players are going to be used for a brand new team, which I'm going to be using in um, like this current weekend league. Not the one you currently see on screen, but the one I'm currently playing myself. So, um, yeah, that's something I'm, uh, you know, quite uh, looking forward to as well, as I've been really, you know, curious to see how those how those American players actually play like. But um, anyway, back to the gameplay you see on the screen. As I mentioned, this was Weekend League from last weekend. I wanted to post it earlier on the channel, but I got a little bit, a little bit busy with some other stuff. I'm also streaming and also making a, a goals compilation, which I actually uploaded two days ago. Uh, which is around uh, pro clubs. So um, if you're into that as well, make sure to check it out. I will leave a link at the end of the video for you guys as well. So in this weekend league you see on screen, um, I was very excited to actually getting started um, when I uh, when I started playing. Uh, one of the reasons was because I really wanted to try out Marcus Rashford. Now, in the previous episode, you could have seen, I think, a glimpse of me playing with him, or it was the episode before where um, I played a game, I think, in one of the friendly modes or in the or in Rivals, I'm not fully sure. And um, yeah, he started off seriously so well that um, he already scored a hat-trick in the first game. And you can see at this point we were 2-0 up, and I think he already was on, uh, on two goals. We missed like a very nice rainbow uh, to Scorpion shot, but then minutes later we do get it with Marcus Rashford. Um, I've also made a tutorial about this specific uh, skill shot uh, on my channel. So um, yeah, be sure to check it out as well. There are quite a few videos you guys should check out if you, uh, if you haven't already. But this in particular, I've seen so many of you guys already like tweeting me clips, also sending me uh, clips on, uh, on Instagram, on my DMs. So um, yeah, I'm very happy to see that you guys are actually, you know, um, are able to pull this skill move off as well. It looks really difficult, but it is quite easy once you uh, once you master it. It is really all about timing. So um, yeah, go ahead, check out the tutorial if you haven't already. Uh, should be in the in the link in the description down below to the to the skills tutorial playlist for FIFA 21. But um, yeah, coming back to this Manchester United legend, Marcus Rashford. Um, as I mentioned, I scored a hat-trick in his first game, got another hat-trick in his second game, and uh, we were on our way in this match as well to get another hat-trick with him. He was honestly uh, such a fun player to play with. He is, uh, I think, by far my, uh, my favorite player this year. Um, as you can see as well, after 20 minutes in this game, we were already up 2-0, two goals with Marcus Rashford. And I think I bought him for around 237 I think right now with like all the UEFA Champions League road to the final cards and packs um, that caused this price to kind of go up a little bit uh, compared to especially what I uh, what I bought him for. So um, whenever I sell him, I'm able to make some nice profit on him as well. But um, he's definitely a player I am uh, at least going to be, you know, when I eventually sell him, going to be picking him up again because I think he is... Um, as probably good as Neymar and Mbappe. The way he just plays, the way he feels when you're dribbling with him, it's, I don't know, it's it's not comparable to any other player in the game, basically. It's uh, it's maybe a weird thing to say, but the way he just plays, man, uh, he's pretty tall as well, so usually whenever I play like with quite tall players, I usually have that kind of clunky feeling with them. 
But that's something I just don't have with Rashford. Um, I'm not too sure what his in-game stats are. That might also be one of the reasons. But um, the, f the, 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 the fact he's just really quick and has just five-star skills, of course. But the fact he has just amazing shooting as well. Even his weak foot, he just scores uh, goals for fun, really. It's, um, it is, I think, my new favorite player in... Um, in FIFA 21. So if you haven't tried him out yet, he's uh, quite expensive. I think right now he's around 270, 280 mark on PlayStation. I think maybe a little bit cheaper on um, on Xbox. But um, he's honestly one of my favorite players in this uh, in this game. So I would really suggest trying him out if you have the coins and um, if you're like having a, uh, a Premier League team, if you're rocking a Premier League team, again, I would really suggest uh, giving him a try. Even if you're not a skiller, he's just uh, really, really fun to play with. So, um, yeah, in this game, you can see at this point we were 3-2 down. We were kind of struggling as well. We had a couple of chances, but I felt that I was at some point a little bit, you know, scaling too much where I sort of messed up some chances, which I think was one of the chances I was talking about was the one before we actually got the goal, the 3-3. But um, I think it was, um, I think here Dembele there on the right wing, a couple of skill moves where we then cut it back there to one of the substitutes, Quincy Promes. Who makes it 4-3 and actually uh, gives us the lead in this game. Then after some uh, good pressure there from Denier, my center back, who went all the way up there. We play it off to Rashford, pass it off to Depay to secure another goal. Just so that if we would end up uh, conceding the 4-4, I, uh, you know, wouldn't, uh, at least, we wouldn't be drawing basically. So I want to get that goal margin. But then the 6-3, beautiful finish from Depay there. Lovely little, um, lovely little directional nutmeg, followed by a rainbow flick to that uh, sort of fancy back heel scorpion kick shot, really. Really uh, like the look of it. And uh, yeah, I'm, again, very glad to see that some of you guys are actually able to pull it off as well. So if you have a cool clip of it, make sure to send it over to uh, to my Twitter, which is at Kazooie94, or my uh, Instagram, which is at Kazooie94 as well. And you can see here the final stats. They were massively in our favor. I think towards the end there as well, we got denied a goal as the referee blew in his whistle early, which was <laughs> a little bit annoying because I, I went with like some sort of combination where I tried to fool the keeper twice. But... Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to uh, to like fully do that skill move, and uh, yeah, the referee blew in as well so early. So um, after that, I went to the objectives tab and noticed that we actually had completed an objective where it said that we um, won 50 uh, for Champions games, meaning we got a jumbo rare players pack. Unfortunately, not the best pack. We got Jose Callejon, 84 rated from Fiorentina. Uh, still, you know, a little bit of pace on him. 84 rated. I mean. It's not the best with those packs, but I'll take it, you know. I'd much rather get him than an 82, which I've had plenty of uh, before. Uh, we also get three 83-rated players in uh, Marcelo, of course, a five-star skiller. I think Vidal and also Maguire. So, um, yeah, in terms of players we could maybe use for an SPC or something, then, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not a really bad pack. So then move on uh, into the next game, the fourth one. Where we come up against almost a French, uh, a full French looking side, but also the icon Thierry Henry. And we start off in the third minute. Once again, Marcus Rashford made in good use there of the directional nutmeg. I have to say, a little bit lucky though, because we got the, the lucky bounce. And then 19th minute, a little bit uh, similar stuff happened there um, with my Joe Gomez, where he got a very bad touch onto the ball. You can see it right there. I intercept the ball perfectly, but then the ball, I think, sort of went through his leg. He got it back with uh, Henry. And uh, he was able to finish off nicely at the near post. I think I moved my goalkeeper slightly as well. So then from kickoff, it is Rashford there again in the 20th minute. Lovely directional nutmeg. Honestly, I can't say it enough. This skill move is legitimately the best skill move in the game. I'm still yet to make a video on the most effective skills tutorial. Or on the most effective skill moves. Which I've said a couple of times that I will do soon. But I really will try to, um, to get it done um, as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, that's something to definitely look out for as well. I think that most of you guys are kind of know, um, or at least will kind of know which skill moves will be involved because you will see them all the time in uh, the Skill to Glory episodes. But, um, yeah, that's something you can look forward to as well. Then this goal as well. It's, um, it's something that has happened to me before as well where I tried, I think, to head the ball with Sergio Ramos to my goalkeeper and he just refused to just get the ball. And in this situation, my opponent tried to pass the ball back to his goalkeeper and he reacts really weirdly. It's just one of those weird bugs. And yeah, it was just a really unlucky game for my opponent as well. So um, he ended up leaving, meaning we got another win, which for us anyway was really, really nice. So we could move on into the next game. 
And um, we started off well in the 20th minute where we go with some skills. And then this happened. I tried to go for, I think, a Bolasi flick. And it was the first skill move I pulled off at Rashford. And it looked so weird. It almost looked like the ball kind of bounced up. I think that is one of the reasons why um, why Rashford basically messed up that skill. Um, yeah, but um, it, lo it looked really strange. Maybe it's a bug, but I'm not fully sure. But um, anyway, we got the first goal there nonetheless. I think with Memphis Depay. And then minutes later, we get a beautiful nutmeg there. Again, making good use of the directional nutmeg. The animation of the skill was a little bit differently as he used it with the sole of his foot. And then uh, it is again Rashford with a beautiful finish. Lovely flick there in the air. Spins around and then a beautiful volley into the back of the net. Making it 2-0 in this game. And then we go into the second half where we play it around a little bit. We have the ball there with Frankie de Jong. Play it to Wijnaldum. Where we get a little bit lucky as the ball bounced back to Jorginho Wijnaldum. And then it is Usman Dembele who makes it 3-0 at the near post, which again resulted in another rage quit. And I think at this point, we were sitting on five wins, I'm pretty sure. So um, one of the better starts I've had anyway to Weekend League uh, since the start of FIFA 21. So the next game we went, we came up against someone who had Timo Werner. And I'm not going to lie, he's been a really pain to play against. Uh, you can see in this situation where he had himself a chance there with him. I tried to like clear the ball out, out of play. But I kept it in and then I made such a stupid mistake there with I think Denier where I passed it right back into his feet. He passed it across to Werner where he made it 1-0. So just a really dumb mistake for myself. Twice actually. Then uh, in the 20th minute, again Denier not looking the best there. I, f I thought anyway that I had uh, the ball intercepted there completely. But you can see from the replay that um, I don't know how but Denier somehow just completely missed time to tackle. Um, I thought I had him, but yeah, he made it 2-0 there with Paul Pogba. So two really early goals there. It was, uh, you know, a task for us to get back into the game as soon as possible. And uh, we got a big chance there with the pie where we do it, the crossbar, unfortunately. Then we go already into the second half where it is Marcus Rashford there on the right-hand side. Again, going a little bit more on the sweaty side instead of just skilling because obviously it was 2-0 down. But that didn't even work out that well because we missed the sitter there with Ben Yedder where... Um, he got denied on the line. And then instead, in the 83rd minute, it was my opponent who made it 3-0 there with Timo Werner. And then it is him there on, with Salah there on the wing. I was pretty frustrated. I tried to, like, block his cross, tackled him down. And then he made it 4-0 from the penalty area to make it 4-0, um, like I said. And that's how the game ended. You can see from the final stats as well that opponent was just much better than us. A uh, lot more chances and, um, yeah, most of the possession as well. So it was a fair loss in my eyes. So we move on into the next game where we play a really nice through ball there to Memphis. I maybe could have chipped it, but I passed it off to Rashford. Went with a cheeky Rabona finish to make it 1-0. Then uh, 32nd minute again there, Rashford there on the ball where we do go for a ball roll to Elastico. I was hoping to go to, uh, for a uh, weak foot shot in the far post, but we ended up actually hitting the post, which was quite unfortunate. So um, yeah, we go into the second half where my opponent didn't really create anything in, in the first half, only like two minor chances. But then in the second half, it got completely flipped around where he was, I guess, anyway, the better team or the better player. And um, towards the end, in the 89th minute, after he already made it 1-1, he would end up making it 2-1. I think again with Christian Tello, which was also uh, the goal scorer um, of the 1-1. So that was pretty frustrating to see, especially... If you looked at how the first half went, it just almost felt like I played against a completely different player in the second half. Let me know as well in the comments down below if that happens to you guys. I wouldn't say frequently, but as if that has ever happened to you guys anyway. Um, where you basically dominated the whole first half and then in the second half it almost felt like you were playing against someone else. That's anyway how it kind of felt like in, the, um, in that, uh, that previous game. And I have to be honest, in this game that you see right now... It was basically the complete opposite. We weren't the best player in the first half, but then the second half, it kind of got switched and it kind of got in our favor where you can see here uh, after, a, I think, a shot from Ben Yedder there. It was, uh, I think, Promes who made it 1-0. And then uh, I think another substitute player here, Lucas Moura with some skill moves. A nice drag back there where we go for another drag back. I was hoping to make the 2-0 there, but um, got denied by the keeper. And like I said, the second half was, uh, was much better on our side. But unlucky though, how we were, um, we weren't able to make the 2-0, we did concede the 1-1 though, so um, yeah, I was, uh, you know, hoping to make, maybe make the 2-1, instead of actually going into extra time, 
and we would end up making the 2-1. A beautiful finish for Marcus Rashford. Um, a really nice uh, burber spin to begin with to beat uh, Varane there beautifully. But then once again, the ball roll sombrero, one of the better skill moves once again this year. A beautiful finish making it 2-1 and actually securing us the win. Meaning we do reach silver three and our current record is six wins. Uh, meaning that we of course have plenty of games left for you guys to uh, to show which will be done in the next episode so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that um, I'll also be showing you guys my weekend league rewards uh, in that episode so um, yeah of course as always uh, make sure to uh, to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos but um, apart from that I really hope you enjoyed this episode if you of course did drop a like um, if you want to see me playing uh, for champions live as I will be playing some more this weekend then uh, head on over to my Facebook page fb.gg slash kazooie94 and um, be sure to follow me on my socials as well Twitter uh, Instagram all that, all that good stuff which is at kazooie94 as well but anyway guys that's the end I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.